In this video, we're going to continue on what we left out from part two, and um, this this first factor right here that we see right next to the limit can be simplified further if we apply the limit into it. All right, let's let's see what happens to evaluate a polynomial against a limit at infinity. This is a polynomial over no oh, a monomial, but polynomial at limit raised to infinity, we need to do some particular techniques in algebra so we can evaluate it quite nicely. So what we normally do in mathematics is the strategy of multiplying 1 over the highest ordered term in the polynomial. So in this case, the highest ordered term is n raised to k. So what we will do here is try and multiply the polynomial on top, minus 2. We multiply it with 1 over nk. And also, we will do it on the denominator, nk multiplied by 1 over nk. So, what can we get from that? Well, what we get from it is nk over nk plus a n k minus 1 over nk plus b n over n k and of course the bottom part will just be n k over n k. I guess it's quite understandable for us that this thing cancels out and it's equal to 1 also with this and this thing simplifies into a over n and this thing simplifies into b n squared. So I'll drag it down a bit. So finally what we have is 1 plus a over n plus b over n squared over 1. But imagine if we take the limit, limit as n approaches infinity of, of this. So what happens is, well, this becomes infinity and this becomes infinity and a over infinity is 0 and b over infinity squared, like a constant over a large, large number, is also 0. And hence this limit is just 1. So if we go back to the top, it means that this entire thing is just equal to, to 1. So the only problem left now for us is to understand how the limit applies to those other factors in here. So let's try to get the limit as n approaches infinity of this, and the k over k factorial. Now isn't this a constant? And according to what we studied, the limit of a constant is the constant, lambda k over k factorial. So that's nice. And how about how about this? Let's try it out. The limit as n approaches infinity of 1 minus lambda n all over minus k. If I plug in infinity, what is lambda over infinity? Well, that's 0, so we have 1 minus 0 raised to minus k, and that is equivalent to 1 minus k, and that's equivalent to 1. So this entire thing also is equal to 1. So we only left with this, and what we have now is 1 times lambda k over k factorial times 1, and the only thing left for us to do is to limit as n approaches infinity of the last factor. If you notice, we have 1 here, that's 1, that's 1, and the lambda k and the other one, and this is the only thing left for us to do. So 1 lambda k, k factorial 1 in this. So if we go back here, we have 1 lambda k, k factorial 1, and this is the only thing left which we would get to be the 1 minus lambda over n raised to n. So we will understand what that means. So let's try it out. According to what we studied before, I mean in the limits, the limit of x as x approaches infinity according to the video on limits, which I prepared for you guys, of 1 plus 1 over x raised to x is actually equal to e. Now, this thing seems to look like this. 
So maybe we can do something about it. Alright, how about we substitute... Let's see now. Let's substitute x. Alright, so we will be observing this. And try to change it to this. So we can try and do some maybe a substitution or something. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we can say that uh, n is equal to x lambda. Alright, let's just try it out. If that's the case, then if I if I go and substitute this this expression in there, what I would get is one minus lambda over x lambda raised to x lambda. What's that equal to? Well, that's equal to things cancel that. That's equal to one minus one over x raised to x, and since lambda is multiplied, so we can say that this is just raised to lambda. Now that seems not to be satisfying enough, so maybe what I can do is to say that n is equal to minus x lambda. So if that is 1 minus x lambda, this one becomes minus x lambda, and minus minus becomes plus, and now it becomes 1 plus 1 over x, which looks like this. And to finalize, it should be x lambda negative, so this should be negative. And now let's talk about this. What is this? Isn't that this? So it means that this entire thing, this entire thing, is just equal to e. And since it's raised to minus lambda, minus lambda. And so it means that this thing is e raised to minus lambda. So trying to combine all the things that we have, we have 1 times this, to write it down, Schneiser, lambda k all over e factorial, times 1 times e raised to minus lambda. And this right there is our result, which is the same thing as what we've written down before, p, k as the Poisson distribution. So, Thanks for watching, that's the end of the video.